माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स अगर आप इन वीडियो लेक्चर्स का मैक्सिमम यूटिलाइजेशन करना चाहते हो तो आई थिंक आपको ये इंप्रूव सेशन डेफिनेटली फॉलो करना चाहिए और रिलीजियसली फॉलो करना चाहिए इंप्रूव सेशन क्या है इसका लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में है तो जाओ उसको चेक करो इसके अलावा अगर आप व्हाट्सअप ग्रुप ज्वाइन करना चाहते हो और मुझे लगता है आपको करना भी चाहिए तो आप क्या करो हमारे वेबसाइट पर जाकर के अपने कॉन्टेक्ट डिटेल्स दे दो या फिर इस व्हाट्सअप नंबर पर जाकर के अपने कॉन्टेक्ट डिटेल्स दे दो सो दैट हम आपको उसमें एड कर सके चलो आप पढ़ना शुरू करते हैं Hi, um, welcome back. This is the first <coughs> problem solving session in the physics uh, video lecture series, and in this uh, video we'll be doing some. I will take some problems from uh, JE Mains archives and we'll try to solve them as quickly as possible. So this is also sort of like uh, speed solving technique. So we'll start now. So this the first question says uh, a ball whose kinetic energy is E is projected at an angle of 45 to the ground. to the horizontal the kinetic energy of the ball at the highest point of its flight will be okay so let's quickly draw it and says uh, it's projected at angle of 45 and you're supposed to find the k of the ball at the highest point so at the highest point at the highest point we know that the velocity of the ball in the vertical direction it goes to zero so if i'm talking about this highest point at this highest point it's only moving with the initial horizontal component okay so initial horizontal component suppose this is u and this is u so this is u cos theta and this is u sin theta so u sin theta component goes to zero and we are just left with u cos theta so at this point k is going to be half into m into u square cos square theta and it's given the initial kinetic energy is e so e is basically half into m into u square we use the initial speed and we already know this half into m into u square is e so cos square theta is nothing but 1 by 2 so k at the maximum point suppose this point is p k at p is going to be e into 1 by 2 or e by 2 okay let's move on to the second problem uh It says from a building, two balls A and B are thrown such that A is thrown upwards and B is downward, both vertically with the same speed. So let's quickly draw this problem as well. The ball A is thrown upwards and the ball B is thrown downwards, and it's given that both are thrown with the same speed u. If V and V B are their respective velocities on reaching the ground, then so if you have seen the previous videos, you will know that. Uh, the the speed at which the ball is thrown upward is same as the speed with which it's going to fall at the same level so when this particle a is going to come back at the same level it's going to have the same speed so it's equivalent to the particle b so the like if they have to travel the same distance h and so the you can use v square is equal to u square plus 2 as so final velocity is going to depend on the initial velocity and the acceleration and the displacement since displacement acceleration and initial velocity is same for both particles they are going to reach ground with the same speed okay so the answer b will be correct okay moving on to the next problem a car moving with a speed of 50 km per hour uh, can be stopped by brakes after uh, at a 6 meter so if the same car is moving at a speed of 100 km per hour the minimum stopping distance will be so if this uh, car is moving with a speed of suppose some speed v and finally it goes to zero v goes to zero and the distance it travel before it stops is s and this s is known as the stopping distance okay so we can just basically use v square is equal to u square minus 2 as and this a is negative because uh, this is a retardation after like brakes are applied and this v is always going to be zero you are going to stop finally so this u square will be 2 as okay so if i'm having different div, uh, initial velocities so i'm going going to get different s values and assuming like the brake power is like constant so this a is going to be same in both cases and i can write u square by 2 so u square by 2 s is equal to constant so the equation i'm going to get u1 square by 2 s1 is going to be u2 square by 2 s2 so initial is given 50 so u1 by u2 square will be s1 by s2 
okay so just just uh, put the values and solve it so 50 square divided by 100 square and all although these are in like this this s distance is meter and the velocity is in kilometer it's not going to matter because if i'm talking about the ratio the multiplication factor is going to cancel out, uh, cancel out okay so you you are doing basically 50 by 100 50 by 100 square is equal to 6 by let's call the final value x okay so if you're going to solve it this 50 by 100 is going to be 1 by 2 1 by 2 square is going to be 1 by 4 and x is equal to 6 into 4 24 so this gives you x is equal to 24 okay okay uh, let's now move on to the next set of problems this question uh, says we have uh, a boy playing on the roof of a 10 meter high building throws a ball with a speed of 10 meter per second and at, at an angle of 30 degree with the horizontal so how far from the throwing point will the ball be at the height of 10 meter from the ground so again it's very important to draw the figure so let's say this is the roof uh, height is 10 meter okay and the ball is thrown with a speed of 10 meter per second at an angle of 30 so this is 30 and u is 10 meter per second and it's saying how far from the throwing point will the ball be at a height of 10 meter from the ground so the ball is going to be at a height of 10 meter from, from ground when it's going to complete its projectile motion at the same level finally it's going to fall somewhere here right okay but at the same level when like if you're talking about being at the same height of 10 meter so this is the end of the projectile motion at the horizontal level of like at height of 10 meter so you can basically use your equation of projectile because from coming from point a to point b it's basically the standard projectile motion so you're just supposed to calculate the distance x where x is a range and we have the formula for range range is basically the horizontal component of the velocity u cos theta into the time period time period is 2u sin theta by g so this becomes u square uh, u square sin 2 theta by g just put the values so this is going to be 100 into sin 2 theta is sin 60 root 3 by 2 and g is 10 so this becomes 2 5 5 root 3 5 root 3 is approximately 8.66 Moving on to the next problem. Uh, let's move on to the second problem. Uh, a ball is released from the top of a tower at a height of h meter. It takes t seconds to reach the ground. What is the position of the ball at t by 3 seconds? Okay. So this is release. That means initial velocity is 0. So let's quickly draw the figure. Okay. And initial velocity is 0. It, it, it is dropped from here. The height is h. Okay. And uh, uh, dropped from here with u is equal to 0. It takes t seconds to reach the ground. So the equation I'm going to write s is equal to ut plus half a t square and u is 0 so it is basically half into g into t square now what is the position of the ball at t by 3 seconds so suppose t by in t by 3 seconds it travels a distance of y okay and it's at point suppose this is p and this is at point q okay and you're supposed to find this distance this distance is nothing but h minus y and again i'm going to use the same equation s is equal to t plus half t square and i'll get y is equal to half into g into and this t is t by 3 so this becomes t square by 9 uh, and just subtract it h minus y is going to be g by 2 and t minus t square by 9 is a t square by 9 and we know uh, this, uh, this this can be written as 8 by 9 g t square by 2 and half g t square by 2 is basically h so this distance is nothing but 8 by 9 into h so this will be at a height of 8 by 9 h from the ground okay okay uh, let's now move on to the next set of problems um, this says uh, the relationship uh, between time t and distance x is t is equal to ax square plus bx where uh, a and b are constant the acceleration of the particle is so this t is equal to ax square plus bx we have to find the velocity oh no sorry the acceleration and you can see the options you have to you have to find the acceleration as the function of velocity so let's differentiate this whole term uh, with respect to t so this goes to 1 dt by dt and this is 2a x and then dx by dt using the chain rule is going to be v plus b into v okay so now i can take v common v is going to be 1 by 2ax plus b okay now let's differentiate this again with respect to time so the left hand side becomes a and the right hand side is nothing but this is 2ax plus b 
to the power minus one so i can use the uh, like uh, chain rule and this is uh, differentiation of this whole term with respect to time is uh, nothing but minus one divided by two a x plus b uh, to the power minus one by two this becomes two here and then the differentiation of two x plus b and that is going to give you two a v okay so here as you should be able to see this 1 by 2a x plus b to the whole square is nothing but v square okay so i can write this whole thing as v square so finally it becomes minus 2a v to the cube okay so d will be the answer now let's solve question number 15 okay 15 says a particle located at x is equal to 0 at time t is equal to 0 starts moving along uh, with the positive x direction with the velocity v that varies at v is equal to alpha root over x okay so at t is equal to 0 uh, position x is equal to 0 and you have to find the displacement as a function of time so it's given v is equal to alpha root x and this is nothing but dx by dt is equal to alpha root x so i can write dx by root over x is equal to alpha d t i'll just integrate both sides given at t is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 and t is equal to some general time t let's say x is equal to x so uh, the integration of root over x this root over x is nothing but x to the power minus 1 by 2 so i can use the x to the power n formula and so this becomes x to the power minus 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by minus 1 by 2 plus 1 and the integration is going to go from 0 to x and this will be alpha t so here you are going to get x to the power 1 by 2 and this 2 goes up is equal to alpha t or 4 x is equal to alpha square t square so you should be able to see the displacement of the particle is proportional to t square okay let's move on to the next set of problems okay so and this is the final problem set um, a particle of mass m is at rest at the origin at time t is equal to 0 it is subjected to a force f is equal to f naught it is power minus b t in the x direction its speed v t is depicted by which of the following curves so let's see how the speed function is going to vary f t is given as f naught e to the power minus b t so if suppose the mass is m and it's given as well mass is m so acceleration as a function of time is going to be f naught by m e to the power minus b t okay now this acceleration acceleration is nothing but dv by dt and i can write f naught by m e to the power minus b t so let's say f naught by m is equal to some constant alpha okay and this is dv by dt and uh, so what i can do now uh, i'm just going to write uh, m m in m by f naught dv by dt so that is let's say m by f naught is 1 by alpha let's call it beta so this becomes beta dv integration is going to be e to the power minus bt dt okay and starting from t is equal to 0 to some general time t and the mass is at rest at t is equal to 0 so this v is going to be 0 and some general velocity v general speed v so this is nothing but beta into v and this is e to the power minus bt integration will be uh, e to the power minus bt and divide by minus b going from 0 to t so this value is beta v will be e to the power minus bt and uh, i'll just take negative outside so this is 1 by b okay and, and at t is equal to 0 e to the power 0 will be 1 okay so v is uh, minus 1 by b times beta and uh, let's say this negative goes inside so this becomes 1 minus e to the power minus b t again b by beta is a constant okay so b is a constant beta is f by m that's a constant so i'll just open up the beta beta is f uh, m by f naught so m by f naught becomes b f naught divided by m okay and uh, sorry uh, i think this uh, there's a mistake in this this b is in the denominator so this b is in, in the denominator so this becomes f naught f naught uh, divided by m b 1 minus e to the power minus b t 
okay uh, so this is a special kind of function uh, you should be able to see uh, when t goes to infinity e to the power minus beta goes to zero so this whole term tends to f naught by mb one minus zero that is basically f naught by mb so for large value of t this whole function asymptotically uh, like uh, converges to f naught by mb so there's only one explanation for this and this is the option number b okay so let's move on to the next problem i'll just quickly get rid of this okay okay so next problem says a projectile is given an initial velocity of i plus 2j meter per second where i is along the ground and j is along the vertical if g is equal to 10 the equation of the trajectory is okay so um if you remember the equation of trajectory it's basically okay so here i've already written the like derive the equation of trajectory so suppose on the x distance traveled by the particle in t general uh, general time t is x is equal to u cos theta and as, uh, similarly i can suppose this is the position like origin and at any point the particle is here and the coordinate is x comma y so this is the x distance traveled and this is the y coordinate x coordinate and the y coordinate so x coordinate is basically u cos theta into t and y will be u sin theta minus half g t square if uh, this whole calculation is not making sense please review the previous videos and again uh, since you have to find the equation of trajectory that means equation in x and y you just take t from here and t is going to be x by u cos theta and put it back into equation 2 okay so putting x is equal to u cos theta in equation 2 you're going to get y is equal to u tan theta since uh, t is equal to x by u cos theta u you cancel out and x tan theta minus half g t square x square by u square cos square theta if you think about this u square cos square theta is nothing but u y square okay uh, sorry u x square okay so in this equation it's given as uh, initial velocity is i plus 2j so this i is your u x and this 2 is your u y okay and if g is equal to 10 meter per second square the equation of trajectory will be so using this formula y is equal to x tan theta tan theta is nothing but the, uh, this is the initial direction of the projection this is ux and this is uy tan theta is the angle between the velocity vector and the horizontal that is uy by ux and uy ux is 2 so this is x into 2 minus half g is equal to 10 into x square and u square cos square theta is basically ux square is 1 so this becomes 1 and this is 5 so y is equal to 2x minus 5x square this is answer b so this concludes our problem solving session in kinematics and uh, i'll see you in the next session okay thank you